Here's the general formula for differentiation. So if we start with x to the power of n, when we differentiate that, what we do is we multiply by the power n and then we reduce the power by 1. So we'll apply that to a couple of examples. The first one here, y equal to x cubed. So if we're to differentiate that, we're differentiating y with respect to x. So it's dy dx. We multiply by the original power, which is 3, and reduce the power by 1. So the power reduces from 3 to 2. Moving on to the second example, we have y equal to 5x squared. So differentiate it, we're differentiating y with respect to x, dy dx. So we multiply by the power, the power is 2, so 2 times 5 will give us 10. We're reducing the power by 1, so instead of x to the power of 2, it will be x to the power of 1. Now normally we write 10x to the power of 1 just as 10x. There's no need for the 1 in the power. And just looking at a further example, y equal to minus 12x to the power of 5. So again we're differentiating y with respect to x. We multiply by the power which is 5. 5 by minus 12 will give us minus 60 and we reduce the power by 1, so from 5 down to 4. Next, we look at a couple of examples with just x on its own. So, in this case, y equals 7x. We differentiate this, if it's just x on its own, so x to the power of 1, you just drop the x, so differentiate that, you get 7. The next example is similar differentiate this, we're differentiating y with respect to x, it's minus 13x, so we just drop the x, it's minus 13. Here, y equal to x, if you want to write that in a different manner, that's 1 times x, but we never usually write 1 beside it when it's 1 times something, so we just write it as x, but that's 1 times x. So if we're to differentiate this one, we're just dropping the x, so when we differentiate it, the answer is 1. So just to recap, when it's x on its own, so in this case we have 7x or minus 13x or 1x in our last example, we just drop the x when we differentiate it. But the next question you have to ask yourself is, why do we do that? So I'll show you with the first example. So if we just look back at our general formula, what we do is, x to the power of n, when we differentiate that, we multiply by the power and reduce the power by 1. So we're going to do the exact same in this particular question. We have 7x, or 7x to the power of 1. So when we differentiate that, we multiply by the power, so 1 by 7 will give us 7 and we reduce the power by 1. So if we take 1 from 1, we have 0. So it's 7x to the power of 0. As you may know, anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So what we have is 7 multiplied by 1, which is equal to 7. So that's why when you differentiate 7x or minus 13x or 1x, you just drop the x.